Hello everyone and welcome back to the 11th episode of our Cricket 22 career mode guys As we are here with Wiri taking on Oni Hunger at uh, the Oni Hunger Reserve We are indeed in the second innings of this match Following the innings after we got 100 in the first We can just quickly take a look at the scorecard We currently trail by 439 runs We got 113 not out with the next top score being Cone with 25. What a knock that was from ourselves. 113. Brilliant, really. When our team only got 210. We were stranded there at the end as well. With the only shining light in this game. Cone gone for four this time. We are trailing by 439 after they set us a mammoth, mammoth target of about 450 odd. With that in mind, we are basically looking to play out the rest of this day and not lose the game. First objective is bat time. On the pads, flicked away, through mid-wicket for four. Yep. Repeat dose, we're going to try repeat dose, it's not going to run though, or it might, just about get there. Three is the tap back call, in the end we'll take the three. He was the workhorse in their first innings, trying to get us out, he couldn't get us out. But he's going to try and attempt to get us out this time. He's going to look to get us out, how will he react? Two full, in the slot, and whacked through extra cover, four more. Too short, pulled away through mid wicket, and it'll be four more. Just not maintaining a good disciplined line and length, Nelson, and he's paying the price at the moment. Funny enough, I'm flying away at 26 of 18. Unfortunately, Mahana Ani is gone, caught and bowled for four, meaning Naiglo Tiga Morea walks out to the crease. Fan favorite on the channel, but unfortunately, he walks into the crease with a very big pressure situation on. On his shoulders, really. We've got a bat time. Jordan Cappy to the bowling crease. And gone again. Tiga departs for one off for LBW by Cappy. My goodness me. Cappy got four in the first. He already has a one in the second. I mean, he's got five overall. Three for 36. We are in absolute strife. Now we're really looking at drawing this match. I don't think runs are going to matter anymore. Gone again. It's just a complete disaster. We're on 26. Everyone else is 4 4 1 5. Callister Tau, the MVP of the team to the crease, with Hyola Raka next in. Just, yeah, another collapse from, from Wurry in this game. Our batters just haven't turned up. And I don't know what this line is from Cappy, but I would absolutely get rid of it. Yep. Oh, I can steal a strike, and I do. Nathan Nelson, he'd, he'd love to pick us up. He has not picked us up yet. He'd love to. Oh, that's full on the pads, driven away. It wasn't completely timed very well, but it will get to boundary for four and brings up the worry 50. Wait on. Oh. Gone again. Tower goes for 14 off 25. Cappy picks him up once again. Wow, look at the bowling figures. Apart from Nathan, who's had to bowl most of his deliveries to me, in all fairness. Mano and Cappy are just running through us. Five down for 64. Hyola Raka to the crease. He didn't get to see his average, but I'm sure it will not be high. In fact, I, if I recall correctly, he has not passed 21. The real question is, I'll actually put up a poll, is do you think Raka can make a 50? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Oh, that's just a late decision. Cappy. Bang. On the fall. Whack through extra cover. That will be four. I mean, we're batting on another level at the moment, but as much as you can all say it's super easy for me and, you know, this is really unfair or whatever you want to say, I will say that, look at the score. We are absolutely getting destroyed, even despite my brilliance. We've already faced 50 balls. Don't think any of their bowlers have got me out yet, so battle for them to get me out. Well and truly on, I was going to say that was a ball that I nearly, nearly snuck under my back. Well, I drive it away and take the one. But is it going to go for four? No. Oh, three extra cover for four. All right, Raka, I hope you're ready to face a ball because this might not be an easy single hit, especially with short cover in place. Oh, yep. oh no, can't make it. Raka's on strike. All right, this could be interesting. Can Raka survive? Oh, he does. Raka survives a full over. 53 overs left. Bat batting for a draw here. We are absolutely batting for a draw. Raka makes four. He makes four runs. I mean, that's an achievement for him. Every run counts as like triple for normal players. Oh no, is that out? Oh, you're kidding me. 
Oh, well. Yep. Nathan Nelson has got the ball in hand, and he celebrates with the ball because he has finally dismissed me. Of all bizarre things, with that, I've left it. It's bounced so high, it's hit me in the glove, and I'm gone for 42. And, well, the last fighting chance for Wherry to win this game, or at least draw it, has come to an end, and we will go down in a heavy defeat. We lose by 288 runs. The player of the match was Kai Tom, getting 111 and 82. We made the top scores for both of our innings in the match, and the only time we got dismissed was leaving it off our glove, unfortunately. Surprise, though. Raka got 37 and faced 109 balls, the most in the innings. Finally, Hayola Raka showing a bit of fight. I like to see it. In fact, I love to see it because he's been taking a few catches behind the stumps and a few stumpings as well, as you can see. So it's just a matter of can he keep staying in the team? Gee, how good was that hat trick from Harry Atkinson, though? It is too bad that we go down in defeat despite a hat trick and 113 not out in the first dig. We go down by 288 runs just because we were just not good enough across the whole game, our team. It was 5.28 in the afternoon. We mustn't have had many overs left either. A gutting loss, a lot of stat improvements. Interestingly, 109 to the drive, yet the drive doesn't have very much skill. Yet a lot of my other shots have more skill even though I never play them. I never play my special shots. We're now 78 overall and has still have zero chance at making the Auckland Aces side. Now, interestingly, we've actually lost a couple of things with the new patch, guys. There's actually a new patch mid-episode, and as you can see, we actually can't see the, the Auckland Aces side anymore. We used to be able to see who was called up and who was not, but uh, unfortunately, with, with the new patch, that has been fixed, but I think that means that training has been fixed, so we will definitely give that a go. And we are currently last on the T20s, which means we have zero chance of making the final in the T20 stuff. That is very poor indeed. We are third on the runs, 737 at 56. Raka with the most catches, so he is indeed getting the job done with the gloves at the moment. Look at that, 35 catches, get around that. Alex Lee and Mech, 30 wickets each. Alex Lee top, of course. Gonna have to fight back hard in this next T20. We can indeed also change our bat, which is also very good to see. All right, look at this. Here we have Ty from our team running in. Oh my goodness, it's actually pretty interesting to face. There you go. So they've actually fixed with the new patch that you can actually face up against your own club bowlers in your career modes, which is awesome to see. So here we have a tie running in with the Mitchell Stark action, because that is what he has in the in the game, which is awesome. And we can see the Weary logo. We're in our Weary kit as well. It's just good times all around. It really feels much more realistic now that I'm not in the Auckland kit facing Kyle Jameson anymore. About time too, because I think he was getting the best of me. Have they fixed spin? No. Silver medal on the treadmill. I can't actually believe that, but there you go. All right, with that, we're going to jump straight into the next Club T20 match against East Tamaki. All right, East Tamaki Cricket Ground. We are here. We've actually changed the season to autumn because, I mean, even though it's in January, it is the back end of the season, and I did want to test it out. They've actually fixed it. They've fixed the bug where... It didn't show the captain uh, icons and such, so that's awesome to see. All right, here we are. Umpires at the toss. Cone is called Tails, and it's a Heads. Unfortunate. East Tamaki win the toss. It's actually a bit of a spinner's paradise. The last two weeks of the season will be spinner's paradises, so we'll see how it goes. They've won the toss and elected to bowl first. Let's see how we go with the bat then. And we are coming out to bat at an average of 56.69. 300s, 250s. Now we've come in, we've got a massive platform, I actually can't believe it. It looks like, once again, I didn't notice, but it looks like Lilo Kali has dropped out for Leo Leo. Welcome back to the side. Wow, look at this. What's going on? Crazy scenes all round. Looks like we are absolutely dominating their attack. One for 116 and 14 overs. Cone 50 of 37, Arnie 63 of 49. We've got Tiga, Raka, and Tao still to come. All right, Jameson. Oh, I'm out. Wow. Are you for real? First duck. I cannot believe that. I mean, I knew he was going to sling it around. Oh, gosh. The caps are going crazy. But I knew he was going to sling it around. I actually can't believe we've actually top-edged that. Oh, I just don't understand the edging on that one. Oh, my gosh. 
Gone for a golden duck. The game screws me again. Tiger walks out to the crease. I just want to look at this again. This is the second... I mean, this is the second time. Oh, you're just kidding me. Like, what's going on here? Look at this. The ball teleports. So I then edge it. And then I'm out. Well, I don't know what to say. And we just sneak home. Mahana Ani makes his first club 100 for Wurry. 102 not out of 69. Really good stuff from him. We win by six runs, but we're not going to make the finals. Jameson was on a hat trick, but didn't get it. And I mean, I'm just gutted. I mean, I can't believe that. The, the game just stitched us up with that pull shot. We just, the ball teleported into our bat to then edge it. I don't know. Oh, great. And it gives me hook and pull skill after that. Thanks, buddy. To hopefully win this 50 over match, which we are currently second. But if we lose, it will come down to net run rate, which we are, oh, jeepers, it's tight. Very tight. If we win, we secure a spot. If we lose, oh gosh, it's a top of the table clash as well. So it's definitely, if you win, you qualify. Loser has to hope that Auckland and or East Tamaki lose and lose badly or win and they win tight. So their net run rate isn't affected. Well, we're in big danger of not qualifying here. Where he finished the Auckland Re Region Championship Club T20 season in sixth position. Oh dear. Well... We certainly sucked in that competition. Let's hope that next season we can do better than that. That is going to be it for today's Cricket 22 career mode episode, guys. If you did enjoy, then please make sure you leave a like. Subscribe for more content. Hit the post notification bell. Join my Discord. Leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now, everyone.